Welcome to Smart Sustainable Style, where interior design, sustainability, and soul alignment come together. I'm your host, Anna Caro. As an interior designer, I curate spaces that calm the mind and nourish you, body and soul. I'm on a mission to help you shift and transform your home's energy and start living in a space that creates magic in every element of your life. So if you are a homeowner or even a renter and you're pursuing wellness and you're ready to take charge of your space, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to share a few aspects of your home that may be contributing to low energy, health issues, and more. So if you're ready to ditch what's draining your strength and energy and infuse your home with fresh energy, let's get started. So, how does your space affect your health? Thanks to science, we know that on a fundamental, molecular level, everything is energy. Our bodies are constantly absorbing and interacting with the energy that is always around us and within us. So whether it's the cleaner on your floors, the music pumping in your air, the food on your table, or maybe that pesky flame retardant in your mattress, our bodies are taking all of it in. And when we expose our body to toxins, whether energetic or otherwise, um, our health, our relationships, and other aspects of our life begin to suffer. You may not even be aware of some of these toxins in your home, yet they are playing a role in your overall well-being and also in your ability to really lean into and receive complete abundance in your life, which I believe every human being is entitled to. Uh, I'm really excited. I have a wonderful, beautiful, brand new and free, yes, you heard me, free PDF. Uh, it's called 10 Simple Steps to Eliminate Toxins from Your Home. In the PDF, we'll discuss air quality, among other things. So let's dive right into some juicy tips to eliminate toxins from your home. When you're investing in furniture, uh, it makes sense to avoid synthetic fibers, let's say. But have you considered that leathers, many of them, are packed just as full of toxins? And while vegan leather may be ethically sound, it is typically constructed with PVC or polyvinyl chloride uh, that can and will off-gas into your home over time. So you'll need to be discerning with authentic leathers as well. Uh, now, conventional chrome tanned leathers uh, result in quite a bit of water usage and serious water pollution, which is a threat to not only individual communities, but our entire ecosystem. And unfortunately, roughly 80% of leathers out there today are manufactured this way. Uh, now, in my opinion, leather is a beautiful, durable, long-lasting material choice for upholstery. So, to keep your home non-toxic and eco-friendly, you'll want to opt for a vegetable dyed versus aniline dyed leather and choose an organically tanned leather or hide. Now, I have some beautiful examples here. I work with two companies for leathers. One of them does more hides uh, and the other does more leathers, but there are beautiful options out there. If you look at these, we have some softer, more buttery neutrals, uh, but if you love color, just look at how beautiful these dyes are. These are dyes from nature. These are natural vegetable dyes and you just get a vibrancy of color that, in my opinion, um, you don't quite get from aniline dyed. So uh, just some examples, look at this beautiful greenish teal. Uh, you can go purple. So if you're a color person and you wanna bring some energy in, leather's a great way to do it that will last a long time and lengthen the life of your furnishing investment. My complimentary new PDF also delves into the bathroom. Uh, so think of this, we've been conditioned to the smell of clean. Just think about bleach or maybe that new car smell. 
and while it smells clean, that's actually the smell of toxins entering your lungs, taking up residence within your body. We want to avoid this. So if you're swapping out uh, your toxic cleaners for eco-friendly ones and you're missing the scents, those smells that your brain accompanies with something being clean, um, I recommend using just a few drops of a therapeutic grade essential oil uh, in your cleaning water. Uh, you could add it to a spray bottle as you're wiping down your counters. Um, or maybe just diffuse the room when you're done cleaning. So a couple of my favorites uh, for replacing those cleaning scents. I love Wild Orange. Um, this kind of replaces Orange Clean. Um, being a Montana girl, this is my personal favorite essential oil. Northern Escape, uh, which is kind of a woodland blend. So this is great if you want to replace pine soil smells um, with something a little more fresh. Uh, if any of you out there are interested in doTERRA, let me know. I pass on most of my discount, uh, which ends up being 20% off for you. So if you'd like to get set up with a diffuser and an essential oil starter kit, just shoot me a message and we can help you out. Okay, in the PDF, we're also going to have a peek at the kitchen. There are so many accessible, eco-friendly products out there on the market now today that will fit any budget. So for example, several manufacturers now make eco-friendly versions of their laminate countertops, which have water-based binders and finishes that are perfect for low budgets and last forever, versus the standard product uh, that will have much more toxic binders and those VOCs that are gonna off-gas into your home. Um, I have laminate countertops in one location in my home and they have been there since 1980 and they still look fabulous. So it may not be your forever solution of Carrera marble, but uh, a 42 year old countertop that still looks and functions amazingly, nothing to scoff at. Okay, let's talk about cleaning products a little bit more. So making a simple swap for natural cleaners is a great way to remove toxins, but make sure to avoid any products that advertise added scents, unless they're essential oils, uh, or claim to eliminate odors. That's usually a red flag that it's full of harmful chemicals. Also in my free PDF, I'll reveal my top five indoor plants for purifying and cleaning your air naturally. Uh, two of which are in my studio right now. You can probably guess what one of them is. Okay, if you're looking for more ways to remove toxins from your home, download my complete PDF checklist for free by clicking the link below and joining our monthly mailing list. It's called 10 Simple Steps to Remove Toxins from Your Home. In the guide, we'll dive deeper into all the areas we covered today. Plus, we'll address bedroom air quality, uh, sound pollution, light pollution, and so much more. If you're ready to claim your right to a deeply nourishing home, download the PDF by clicking on the link below to get started today. And remember, if you like what you saw today, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me today. No matter where you are on your journey of home, remember, you deserve a space that creates magic in every aspect of your life, and you can achieve it with impactful design founded on a strong vision. I'm Anna Caro, and this has been Smart Sustainable Style. Bye for now. Thank you.